I want to make a quick video about my favorite piece of software. It's called TurboLink, and it's software that connects your computer to your car. Now, it's built for ODB1, General Motors cars, that's Onboard Diagnostics 1. So that's cars from, I think, 1984 all the way up till about 1995. And it works on most of my cars, like my 86 Buick, uh, my 88 Fiero, and especially with the one we're in here, my 1994 uh, Chevy Caprice here. Now, why would I want to use a software like this? Well, like on the dashboard here, I've got a speedometer, uh, and I've got, you know, some gauges, you know, one that indicates oil pressure, voltage, uh, temperature, but that's pretty much it. But if I wanted more information, the car knows a lot more than it's telling me here. So I can use a bit, bit, uh, bit of software just like this one, hopefully, to, uh, you know, see what's going on. Now, when you buy this software, and um, it's very limited now because it's no longer in production, but it was written by Ken Mosher, who's over at the gnttype.org forums, and I'll put a link in the notes here. Uh, but when you buy the program, it comes with a cable that uh, uh, connects into your uh, diagnostic port on your car, um, and it comes with the software. You have to provide the laptop, uh, and in the car here, the lap this laptop here is just an IBM ThinkPad. It doesn't have a very good battery, so I also run an inverter. Uh, so I can essentially run the, the, the laptop off the car's power here. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is we've got the car running, and it's set up for a 94 Chevy Impala, Impala SS or Caprice. And this car has, happens to have a, uh, an LT1350 in it. But I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, I'm going to bring it over here and say connect to the car. And sorry if I'm jittery and everything like that with this computer, but it's, what it's going to do is it's going to load the dashboard screen. And this is the first screen of the program, and this is a, something you would run while the car was on the road. Uh, and it's going to load up here, and it's hopefully going to populate. Uh, whoops, it's not going to populate uh, until I say connect to the vehicle. It already did. Okay, so we're there. Uh, but what it's showing me is on these, these little uh, things here is I've got a speedometer which tells me my speed. Obviously, I'm not doing anything. Here's a tachometer, which is pretty important because my, you know, Caprice doesn't have one, uh, telling me I'm idling at about 700, 650. Uh, it's, uh, this little indicator right here indicates that it's at closed loop, uh, which means I just came home so that she's warm. Uh, actually, it's an open loop right now. It'll grow bright, bright pink when it's in closed loop. Uh, manifold air pressure, which is essentially tells me, uh, you know, how much load's on the engine because if I rev it, uh, the engine a little bit, uh, it'll go up or down depending on whatever the pressure is in the manifold, an ex a specific temperature, telling me it's 199 degrees coolant temperature, and a ma uh, manifold air temperature, which is the, you know, the air temperature in the intake uh, that tells me how much, uh, uh, you know, what temperature the air is outside. And then some other graphical things here, these bars that are going up and down are my O2 sensors for each side of the exhaust system, the timing, uh, the correction for the fuel curve, uh, and also things like voltage and uh, where the idle air control motor is, uh, and other basic stuff like over here I've got uh, where my uh, shift position, uh, position indicator is, so if I drop it to reverse, uh, it'll shift to reverse and you're back into park if the torque converter locks up and stuff. So this is very handy. I can usually blow it up to full screen, but for purposes here, I'll just leave it as is. Now that's very handy to have on the road. And, but the neat thing about this program is it can also record. So I can hit the space bar and it'll start recording all of this data so I can go over it later. Now, the other tabs that are on this program, because if you notice there are tabs up here, I can go ahead and click on the spreadsheet component, which essentially kicks out all the data that it sees in a spreadsheet format, and I can export that to like Excel. Another neat screen are the details, and this is more specific. It's not as, you know, friendly if you're on the road and such, but it goes through all the, the voltages and the signals that the computer's getting uh, and reporting them right to the laptop here. So you can see here's some fuel items, ignition from, you know, the amount of uh, spark retard or the spark advance, um, you know, the airflow from the uh, manifold air pressure and the, uh, from the uh, a, man, a mass airflow sensor and uh, you know RPMs and throttle position sensor like right now it's reading 0% but if I put my foot down on the gas a little bit now it shows you know 7% or uh, wherever it may be uh, some status of you know is it closed loop open loop is the computer trying to learn the fuel curve based on the you know O2 sensors and if the fans are on or power enrichment mode when I floored it good stuff like that and uh, you know even you know all the way down to you know air conditioner uh, pressures and stuff like that. So I can, you know, this is pretty much giving you a good chunk of data and, you know, just to look at. So if you've got a, you know, a check engine light that comes on because of something, you know, you can hopefully use this tool to kind of track just exactly what's the car doing and maybe hopefully diagnose what was going on. Now there is a strip chart feature 
and it's not strip as in take your clothes off. You've got three bars here where you could actually take any of the sensor readings um, on a little drop down bar right here and you can actually you know track your throttle position sensor here with your RPMs with your road speed and you can you know kind of use it to help check out other features you have here and then with this 94 Caprice I should have a check engine code on here somewhere yeah I do have an EGR error uh, you actually need a scan tool to clear any codes like you know with my 86 Buick you disconnect the battery you're all set uh, but this one you can't, and you can't even do the paper trick, you know, the uh, uh, paper clip trick to read the codes. You need a program to do it. So this program does it for sure. Uh, but right from here, I can go down here and, and, and hit the clear code, and it'll go ahead and get rid of that EGR code uh, eventually. Uh, sometimes it takes once or twice to do it. But this Turbo Link's a real handy program. Uh, if you own a car, you like to do your own stuff, you own older cars. Um, it's having a little bit of a, a coughing issue here, but it's a real neat program if you if you wanted to do it. Um, Ken Mosher sold the company, or uh, sold the company he used to work for, but he's still got a couple available, and you can find him at the gnttype.org forums. Uh, oops, that's because I knocked the connector off, that's why, sorry about that. Uh, but uh, go ahead and give him an email, and uh, if he's have enough interest, he'll probably try to, to get the remainder of these and sell them out, but it's a real neat program. Like I say, I use it on my Caprice, and on his website, and I'll link that too, uh, lists all the vehicles that can be used.